The space that you're standing in is a, 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 a teaching and learning sound studio, and we have an ability here to do a lot of things. Uh, this project, 16,000, uh, just over 16,000 square feet. So there's a lot of flexibility on the interior of this building as well as the exterior. Uh, ribbon cuttings are, are special and so unique, uh, and we don't want to take for granted what this means because uh, I just want to remind everyone that uh, educator and artist Lon Waters once said, school is a building which has four walls with tomorrow inside. Students, uh, West has students at nearly every studio right now in internships. Um, we're on all the Star Wars projects and we're on every single thing at Netflix and, uh, and uh, or on and on, lots of projects. And, and it's all because of what kept, uh, Laura, Laura, Laura really did. And I was the, you know, I just pushed her into it. <laughs> she did. These facilities will take people to the middle class. These facilities will help people build those dreams and we also must think about those who voted our 900 square mile district. All of our constituents, we've gone to them four times and every single time they said yes. I think our community deserves a round of applause. Don't you think? In opening a building like this also marks for us the public's trust, their confidence that we're gonna shepherd their resources in a way that demonstrates that we care that community colleges remain economic drivers of the regional economy. Diane Watson has been a friend of West Los Angeles College and the Los Angeles Community College District for decades. Her roots with us are deep. In fact, she is an LACCD alumna, having earned her associate degree at sister campus, Los Angeles City College. I could go on and on about her many accomplishments you get, but you get what a powerful force of nature uh, Ambassador Watson has been. The role for which we're recognizing her today is most relevant. In 2008, before she retired, or two years before she retired, Congresswoman Watson, who was serving at the time as the chair of the Congressional Entertainment Industries Caucus, went to bat for West and went to bat in a big way securing two grants totaling two and a half million dollars for the campus to drive job training in the entertainment industry. Not only did this help facilitate Hollywood CPR becoming a permanent institutionalized program housed on our campus, it was also the seed money along with voter approved bond funds that made this amazing facility possible. As a former elementary school teacher, school psychologist, LAUSD board member education has always been a core cause for me. Looking at this facility, this professional level sound stage and trade shops, seeing the diverse student body and hearing all of the positive reports about the program and the success of the alumni moves me, moves me very I am so honored to have contributed to the success of the program. And I have this center bear my name. How outstanding can that be? <laughs> so I thank all of you.